Oof. Man, I am exhausted. Every match for Chelsea, I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm so happy we got this comeback victory, but oh my man, I am so exhausted. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, back again on the other side of the coin. Whew. Welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. First of all, I'm so happy we got the three points. I said it in my preview. We cannot go away from this match anything less than a three points. It had to be a W and somehow we managed a W. And honestly, kudos to the team. Kudos to, you know, Thomas Tuchel for the substitution and that desire to be 1-0 down to come back and win 2-1. We're going to talk about all the positives, the little bits and pieces soon. But we're going to have to talk about the negatives first. Oh, my God. That was, that was a horrendous performance. That really was. That first half, it, it got so bad. Even Thomas Tuchel from the sidelines was screaming at Gallagher and Kovacic saying, direct, 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 enough with the sideways. He was literally pointing it out. It makes me think he obviously doesn't want these players to play this way. He doesn't want that. He, he, he's got a certain instruction and some players are not following it. And you may say, well, how's that on Thomas Dugu? Some parts of it, it is because for some reason, they're not understanding your instruction. Maybe you're not being clear enough, or I don't know what the go is. You've selected Conor Gallagher, and I have to say that was, for me, that was a nonsense selection in this match. It did not make any sense to me. The starting lineup: Mendy, Koulibaly, Silva, Fofana. Perfect. Perfect back three, goalkeeper. Rhys James, Kukurea. Perfect in terms of the back five. You've dropped Jorginho, you've dropped Mason Mount, you've dropped Kai Havertz. Excellent. They've not been good enough. And kudos to Thomas Tuchel for getting that right because there's no way you can continue on allowing sub-performances to be overlooked. So kudos on that particular department. So, no Jorginho, what does that mean? Kovacic started and Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Ruben Loftus-Cheek looked like he was the deepest midfielder and Kovacic started. Okay, fine. Obviously, no Kante. And we definitely don't want Gallagher, uh, Gallagher in that position. But you still selected Gallagher to be part of that midfield and maybe play as a number 10. And you've gone with Sterling and Pulisic up front. I wanted Pulisic in my preview. But I wanted Broha, Sterling, Pulisic. That selection of Gallagher, that's on you, Thomas Tuchel. And you're the one who's screaming at Gallagher for not following instructions. He provided nothing in that match for me. He was, a, as I said, a nonsense selection. It did not make sense. For me, Broha, from the get-go, look at what he did when he came on. More threat in the face of the West Ham defenders being a nuisance, stepping out outside of the edge of the box at times. Kai Havertz's introduction was very much interesting as well. Kai and Broha up front. I don't know whether we're going to continue seeing that. Obviously, Aubameyang coming in. Aubameyang was in the in the uh, in the in the stadium watching that. He would have been so happy. He was so happy when Chilwell scored that goal. Ben Chilwell. Change the match. Change the match. Nothing was going for us. That goal that we conceded by West, you know, that, that West Ham scored, I could see that goal coming from a mile away. We were everyone was there, close to 700 people in the watch along. We could see West Ham scoring a jammy goal like that. We've said it. They 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 prey on second balls. They prey on that kind of situation, set piece. And they got a jammy goal, but we could see that. 
we lacked creativity, we lacked imagination, we lacked anything up until that goal from West Ham. And then it was react reactionary football. And even then, we weren't like supremely creative. The goals that we created, I, I wouldn't say they were engineered, maybe the second one, but the first one, that was pure luck, let's be honest. I mean, kudos to Ben Chilwell for finding that goal. But you ask Ben Chilwell to score that goal again, I'm telling you right now, he ain't scoring that goal again. Nutmegging Fabianski, somehow trickling through, spinning back, spin on the ball from that tight angle. Let's not forget that amazing long ball from Thiago Silva. Look, that kind of stuff, you're not going to see that over and over again. Second goal, yeah, that might be somewhat of an engineering sort of situation. Broha holding the ball up, looking for Ben Chilwell's run, overlapping run, releasing Ben Chilwell, Ben Chilwell then whipping in across, and then Kai Havertz coming in clutch. Applause for Kai Havertz as well. Off the bench. This is what I want to see. I don't I know a lot of people are saying, let's start Kai Havertz again. No, no, no. I love the fact he's come on and he scored that goal, but I probably would still prefer him to come off the bench and be hungry for more goals until I see a consistency of him coming off the bench and delivering. I'm not going to just so easily now crumble and just say, you know what, Kai, you start. No, Broha needs to start. Amanda Broha needs to start. To be honest, it was too much to do for Pulisic and Sterling in the first half. Reese James whipping in crosses to all these monster defenders of West Ham players. It's too easy to defend. Sterling and Pulisic are short. To be honest, I don't even think Pulisic, a lot of people in the live chat were saying Pulisic was rubbish. I don't even think he was that bad. I thought it was quite decent. He was dribbling. He was trying to take on his man. Sterling was dribbling as well, trying to take on his man. But we had nothing. We really had nothing. Some, some people were saying, would, would anything have changed if Oba was up front? I don't know. Maybe, maybe at least having a focal point, at least like having a striker, a proper number nine, who, can, who knows his movement in and around the box. Maybe someone Sterling and Pulisic could play along with. Because in the first half, it was just Sterling and Pulisic. And this is why I was saying you need a Amanda Broha so that they can play off him, feed him as well. But my days, Gallagher. What is the future of Gallagher, man? Red card, erratic in you know in the double pivot today. He got to play eight, ten role, and even then he wasn't good enough. Not being able to be courageous to play through the middle, passing through the middle. Wesley Fofana was good, by the way. Brilliant, brilliant debut from Wesley Fofana. Really appreciated that from him. He was actually very strong. Very, very good debut, and I wanted, want to see him continue on. Reese James was overall good, but that was a mad back pass that almost put us in trouble, man. We could That could have cost us the game. I don't know why sometimes Reese James has these moments. As soon as we went ahead, again, the opposition, they find us vulnerable. Why does this happen to us over and over again? We go ahead and we can't seem to stay concentrated. The opposition always finds a way back. Immediately. And for me, I don't know what people are saying. Some people are saying we got lucky with that Mendy situation. For me, that was a foul. Mendy got to it first, hit the, hit, hit, hit the ball with his hand, and then the West Ham... Uh, attacker left a foot there. That, for me, that's a foul. That's a foul. But the manner how it all happened, how it all transpired, that was mad. Reese James back pass, no need for that. Overall look, ladies and gentlemen, we 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 got lucky, man. We play like that again and again. We're gonna lose more games than we win. I'm glad. That we got the victory, needed that victory, needed that three points big time. And I'm glad we showed resilience being 1-0 down to come back 2-1. Big time resilience. I mean, West Ham, 
they're going to be baffled how they lost that because they didn't even try and they went ahead 1-0. And then all of a sudden they were behind 2-1. Thomas Tuchel needs to, needs to do a lot of stuff here, man, because there are certain things he is getting wrong. The selection of Gallagher. Mason Man, he brings he 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 takes off Pulisic and brings on Mason Man. I don't even know what Mason Man did when he came on. We've got to be a little bit more bold, man. I don't know why we're not attacking. We've got the players. Let's we should be able to throw the kitchen sink. With Thomas Tuchel, it seems like it's conservative first, safety first, always playing with the handbrake on. Why? We've got the players. Release them, man. Unleash them. We've got defenders who can defend. Fofana, Koulibaly, Silva. If these three brothers can't defend, I know there was a situation where there was a free header that hit the post. West Ham hit the post. I was like confused. Has three defenders and they're still hitting the post. I get it, but that's where you need to create a defensive structure. What happens when we lose the ball? How quickly can we drop and create, get back into our shape? Lots of work needs to be done. Look, ladies and gentlemen, <sighs> Thomas Soup cannot be playing like that. We need to play, find a better way of playing football. Maybe this game could be the catalyst. Maybe we needed a victory like this. Maybe from here... It can kickstart something, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this kickstarts something, and from here on we start playing good football. That's why I'm praying, and I'm hoping we continue playing like this. I'm telling you, we got away with a victory today. We got away with a victory. Look, man of the match, Ben Chilwell, goal and an assist. He should start next match. Uh, Kukurea, look, he hasn't had a preseason. I'm not going to be harsh on Kukurea. He hasn't had a preseason. He's come straight in. And maybe it's time he just has a bit of break. And now with all the games that are coming up, it's it's probably worthwhile to rotate. Bencho will look sharp. He looked very pacey as well, looked sharp. Looked like a goal threat as well. So let's start him in the Champions League. Amanda Broha needs to start as well. 100%. This guy is showing good quality off the bench. He's buzzing. Ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to the next match. Let me know how you felt about that particular match. That was tough once again. These Chelsea matches are getting tougher and tougher, man, honestly. Honestly, it's getting tougher and tougher. Smash the like button if you're here for the first time. Subscribe, hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Till next time. Enjoy the weekend. We got the three points. See ya.